here on the couch with us. We have Dan Meyer and Whitney Harper, obviously from the Boone Chamber of Commerce. Thank you guys so much for coming in and speaking with us. Great to be here. Yeah, yeah we've seen Whitney a lot yeah. coming into the studio. It's never <laughs> on, the, on the couch here. Well, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> okay. And, I, uh, and let me set that up first by saying, last night, maybe some of you watched uh, John Stossel's show, and he dealt with this whole question of, of interns. Somebody wrote a book that's saying that uh, college students are abused and misused by businesses because they have interns there doing work that they should be paid. It was a very interesting mm -hmm. session. And, and the whole crowd was filled with students. And frankly, the students didn't jump on the bandwagon of the author at all because they realized there's some value to internships. Uh, and, and Whitney is our intern for this year. Let me tell you, this gal has it going for her. She's in College of Business. She's a, one of the Walker Fellows, which yeah. means she's kind of like, uh, like the ambassadors for the mm -hmm. university, only she is for the, for the, Watauka, I mean for the Walker College of Business. Um, and, and Whitney's doing an internship with us. Now with the chamber, with, uh, an internship is a little bit different. We don't have her necessarily running copies <laughs> and stuff. And, and that, there, every once in a while there might be that kind of thing. But because of the very nature of our business, um, Whitney typically kind of just shadows the activities that are going on. That's why you've seen her. She's been here to watch and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So let me just kind of toss it to you, Whitney. Why an internship? Because you came to us. Why, why would you want an internship? I uh, needed some real <coughs> world experience and where I could have, <coughs> you know, hands-on experience that and learn things that could help me after school. Um, and I needed to learn about the economy, I needed to learn about business and kind of what was going on in the community. And uh, I feel like the Chamber of Commerce kind of has that all very well-rounded. And by being able to shadow with the chamber and go to different meetings around the county, I'm learning a lot and picking up a lot that I can use in whatever career I choose when I graduate. What's Great. some of the most interesting things you've already gone to? One of the most interesting things? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I would say the <coughs> Q committee meeting. Community University mm -hmm. Engagement Committee. That was very interesting. Yeah. Um, I, I picked up a lot. I was able to kind of learn more about sustainability that I never uh, knew about before and, um, and how um, kind of how people in the community um, work with the chamber and work um, with the university and that was really interesting. That's probably been now last week we had a business after hours. Mm -hmm. What a natural. You, the purpose of that is to network. Mm -hmm. Network meaning to meet people, tell your story, learn what they do, mm. look for things that can be helpful in your business from somebody else. It's business to business stuff. She was, she was up to here in conversation, uh, you know, because I I'm, I'm enjoy watching, seeing how they fit in. Mm -hmm. and, and Whitney is one of those that just kind of just kind of <laughs> blended right in and you were taking advantage of the opportunities just like you mentioned to mm -hmm. to meet business people to find out about what they do uh, and who knows there may be some connections down the road right. that'll be excellent for you uh, as far as your career plan is concerned mm -hmm. and that was one of the questions that that they had on that television program last night uh, are interns paid for what they do and what is reasonable pay uh, our intern, we don't pay an intern for anything, but the benefit being able to say on that resume mm -hmm. internship so many months with the Boone Area Chamber mm -hmm. of Commerce, that says something about Whitney. That says something about those interns that they have sought it out, that they've had an opportunity to, to, to learn in that particular area. Right. And uh, so there's, there's a great benefit to, we think there's a great benefit to internships. And Whitney's mm -hmm. going to be around with us hopefully for a couple semesters, maybe longer. Uh, you, know, you graduate next December? This December. This December. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're in another year, aren't we? <laughs> uh, this December, and you're majoring in? Uh, management. Management. Well, business with a concentration in management. So, mm -hmm. good fit. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. fit. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're delighted. We're delighted. Do you to guys have only it. have one intern, or do you, could you have multiple if other people maybe no. around town are interested? Uh, we can really only handle one at a time. Uh, we're a small staff. Um, and our internship, as we talk about, is, is primarily shadowing, 
participating in activities, in events. So she'll get some experience with, with event planning and, and experience with uh, marketing and advertising and experience in the whole networking thing. And, and so uh, try to offer a variety of experiences. Um, but in, in some businesses, the, the interns actually are, are doing physical things, right. more physical things. Um, and, and sometimes they can kind of get lost in the mechanism of business. And some internships are paid for. But that means if you have a formal internship program, it also means the business has to have somebody that's running that program right. for, the, for the purpose of experience and for the purpose of benefit to the company. So we're just, we're just delighted that she's with us. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so I, I really put her under the gun today. I said, come on, <laughs> you want in there with me. Uh, so this is a new experience for Whitney, but next time it'll be much easier. Mm -hmm. one, of those, right. one of those Mondays when I'm not here, I'll just say, here's yeah. Whitney. <laughs> Whitney can come on in and talk to us. So I don't know about that. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Listen, we had a busy week last week. We had, we had our spelling bee. Yes. And you guys are great to be there. Uh, yeah, that I was went. fun. And I had so much fun, Dan. <clears throat> really, though, I when when I went, I really didn't know what to expect. But I had a really great time in seeing everyone in their costumes and getting so excited about spelling the words. And you did a wonderful job. Well, you thanks. Did. That's that's Good always commentary. fun to do. Uh, but um, I was really excited for the Brown Estate for for winning it. Right. And and great interaction again mm -hmm. from the companies. Uh, and, and we just, we had a great time with that. Uh, we've got some other things coming up though that I need to tell you about. We also had a grand opening last week on Friday. Clark Tire Clark opened their it. second location. Mm -hmm. That is so important because those are, those are, that's eight to 10 new jobs. Yeah, and that's to a the good community. spot in Boone too, right when you're, really right when you're coming in from like right? County. Yeah. Did you know that Clark Tire has in their whole system 25 ASU grads working for them in the management side of their business? That's incredible. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes we don't equate tires with a graduate mm -hmm. you know a student mm -hmm. that yeah. just graduated but great connectivity there and uh, they do great things in the high school as well we're looking forward to a program that they're going to be implementing there uh, and and then we had the the business after hours which was super we've got a couple <coughs> things coming up i just want to mention to folks okay. we have a special program coming up uh, on uh, april 9th that's called social media and its impact on hr now, here's a question. Do y'all have a policy on social media use here? Should you? It's a good, good question. question. No, no, we don't have one. No, no um, I think it is, you know, we're not really supposed to, you know, be calling or. Yeah, can you about. use, here's a question for you. Can you use social media in researching about a candidate in order to decide whether or not to hire them or not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. can I ask you for your Password. password? I don't know if that. I feel like that <laughs> might be going too far, but I feel like people should be allowed to look at this. Stuff. Well, social media is such a huge thing now, and, and really businesses are just developing social media policy. But this will be a great workshop for our businesses to attend. Mm -hmm. um, it's coming up on Tuesday, April 9th. It'll be 3 o'clock at the Appalachian Enterprise Center. We encourage our folks to be there. And then our big expo comes up uh, in, in April as well on the 19th. That'll be at the mall. We're hopefully going to have 70, 80 businesses there kind of telling their story. Mm -hmm. uh, so some things that are coming up. Um, how much time do we have? Well, well, we only have a, you know, a couple more minutes if you want to bring out something because I know we always have a, such a busy show, but if you want to talk well, a little bit more. I just want to share with things because even as an intern or as an employee, mm -hmm. uh, what is it that motivates employees to do good work? What do you think? What's the number one thing? Rewards, money. Okay, money. pay. Yeah. You got to have a paycheck, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But beyond that, people uh, people want to know that they have a piece of the action. In other words, if my business does good, the my employees ought to sense that they're getting something out of that too. That it's mm -hmm. it's benefiting them as well. Uh, it's the chance to be. A, everybody wants to be the part, uh, play a part in something that's great. Right. So when when people talk about MTN eighteen. And you can say, well, I'm a part of that, and you can identify yourself with it. So we like to feel a part of a team, uh, and, that, and, that, and that helps us as well. We like to have predictability. That, that's something that employees like. They like to know that there's something that's the same and consistent, mm -hmm. that the boss is going to be consistent and the same, all of those kind of things. Uh, another thing that motivates a lot of employees is, is having some humor around. The, around. It's always great to, to have a, a good atmosphere 
to work in. That's definitely me. I'm definitely the, the humor of the station. Don't you think so, Dave? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's just, Drew's got it too, but uh, he was just like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Most employees like guidelines and feedback. You want to know when you're doing well or if something needs to be tweaked. There's nothing wrong with constructive criticism. In fact, that's a very positive thing, and hopefully we can use it to grow. And, and so those things and some others, like the opportunity to succeed on your own. Uh, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurism is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. Here, Here's a task. If I were to say to Whitney, Whitney uh, we've got an event coming up. Whitney, I want you to take this on. Okay, now she's got ownership, right. and, and it's going to be up to her to put the pieces together. And that's very entrepreneurial, mm -hmm. where her ideas come into play. We like to know that we're part of that process as well. And, and we also want to know that, that, uh, that management knows what they, they're doing. They've got a business plan, and they're following that business plan. And, and of course, everybody likes uh, pay, and we like praise. It's very important to know, hey, you're doing a good job. Um, there are several folks in town that, uh, that send cards to their employees. Great job or, or whatever. Appreciation and acknowledgement uh, is something that we, that we all enjoy. So just think about some things that, that employees like uh, on top of pay, but, uh, but the, uh, that makes them feel a part of the organization and so that the organization's success depends somewhat on them. And then when they do succeed, they get some benefit from it. So. That's very interesting. So there. Ooh, I right. like that. What so you want you want me to leave these? Yeah, for sure. Leave sure. These here. <laughs> right. Well, we'll be we'll take a look at that after. Okay, no. Great to be with you. <laughs> Thanks well, for thank you. sitting and in. And thank too. you, Whitney, for coming out. We'll have you back on again. Please come. Sounds good. You know, good. you can take Dan's spot, like you said. Next. There you go. <laughs> Maybe. We'll be back in a minute with more MTN Channel 18.